So what you can see is that the limitation to the angle is the deck and the most limited angle is at the bottom. So if I expand this picture and make it further away, i.e. the guy on the left further from the guy on the right, that limitation becomes more and more acute. Smaller. The angle gets less as it gets further away, meaning that you lose more and more and more from the bottom up. Zero. Zero. So the most limited angle, in fact non-existent, is the deck and what's below it. You can't see that at all. So that's your zero line, right? Yep. And then from there, if you consider above your head at your zenith 90 degrees, you've got 90 degrees from there up. And then from the deck, you work up in angle and the angle at the deck is the most limited. Correct? That's correct. Seems pretty simple to understand. See, our opponents, who formerly had hand-waved away the effect of the Rayleigh criterion being described as an angular limitation, diffraction limit, if you will, was that it's just merely for, for, for perspective and we don't need it, we're just doing geometry. That's what we used to get. Now we've got one of our opponents, specifically conspiracy cats, detailing the Rayleigh criterion. Oh joy, something we discussed three years ago. The limitation of you due to perspective. Now that limitation of an angle, they're saying, well, if you're looking at a boat in the distance, you might not have enough resolution to resolve the windows on the boat, but that's got nothing to do with earth curve getting in the way or it disappearing bottom up. And you go, all right, <laughs> where's the propeller? Can you see the propeller? Oh, you haven't got any angle to the propeller. Interesting, we're talking about angles to things and how they disappear. Because it's not in Earth Curve Maths. What about that, eh? <laughs> Where's this in Earth Curve Maths? Because you've only got one assertion, haven't you, Globe Believers? Earth Curve gets in the way. That's the only reason things disappear in the distance. Obviously not perspective that we're all detailing now and arguing about how and why things can disappear in the distance due to limitations of angle. Nothing to do with your Earth Curve assertion, though, eh? I wonder why. That's because it's a hijacking calculator. Not really de dealing with anything that we actually experience now, is it? It's only in existence in the maths, Earth Curve. It doesn't really get in the way of things. We can't see geometry. No, no, no. We haven't got any of that sort of single straight line geometry going on. It's all refracted for a start. <laughs> what a happy days it is to be a flat earther at the moment. Wouldn't we all agree? I totally agree. Hey, Nathan, we got a um, the Glober and live stream. Says he's muted. Wants to maybe wants to talk about this issue. I oh, see, Meisty. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Um, I just wanted to point out diffraction limits are based on the aperture of the thing you're viewing through, not the angle to whatever you're looking at. Do I expand on this and then explain where this effect is accounted for in Earth Curve Maths, please? Yeah, you said it's based on the angle to the thing. That's incorrect. It's based on the diffraction limits are based on the aperture of whatever you're looking through. I see. And that's accounted for where in Earth Curve Maths? The Rayleigh criteria. Where's that in Earth Curve Maths? In the Earth Curve Math? Well, yeah. You're talking about seeing what you're yeah, doing. yeah, yeah. I'll reply. In the Earth Curve Maths... There aren't any calculations for diffraction limits based on aperture. No, 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 no. We see the side yeah. of our own head holding the camera. We don't actually calculate for what the camera sees when we do earth curve maths. It puts it in side view, something that absolutely does not look like what we see when we compare that maths to pictures. It doesn't have the Rayleigh criterion in it. Whatever gave you that idea? Why would it be that you're here telling me about how the Rayleigh criterion works when it's not working in your earth curve maths why would that be rc meisty because you said something that was incorrect i was correcting you and i'm asking why that very correct thing that you've detailed how incorrect i was about how it works why isn't it doing that work in earth curve maths i ask you 
because it doesn't actually explain obstruction that you're trying to explain away using things like diffraction limits, as you say, and angles to things. I see. So the diffraction <laughs> limit would be a, a difference between two items that you see at a distance based on the aperture of your camera and the ability for that camera to resolve the difference between, let's just say, the ground and a brick standing on it. So at a given distance, given the Rayleigh criteria and the diffraction limit based on aperture, you would concede that at a given distance, you won't be able to tell the difference between the brick and the ground it stands on. Correct? Yep. So it won't be able to be resolved, that single brick at a given distance. And yet, even though the brick can't be told apart from the ground it sits on, I can pile a whole load of bricks on top of it that you definitely can resolve. Ergo, <laughs> one brick will have disappeared because it can't be distinguished from the ground it sits on. That's something disappearing from the bottom up if you've got a load of bricks on top of that brick that you can't distinguish from the ground it sits on. Now, that is definitely what you call earth curve obstruction at a given distance. But given that we definitely can have a detailed explanation of how a brick can't be resolved from that and the ground it sits on, that would definitely be something that you call obstruction, we call the diffraction limit, and is definitely not being accounted for in earth curve maths. Saying that earth curve maths isn't anything to do with obstruction, ergo Rayleigh criterion invalid. Well, no, mate. I've just given an example of how we've got a brick disappearing and not being able to be distinguished between it and the ground it sits on. So that would be a brick disappearing, irrespective of whether or not you can see the bricks that are sat on top of it, which because they've got a wider angle, you can distinguish. Could I, I'm a bit confused at the, the claim here. Really criterion, the, the theta, the angle is 1.2 times the lambda over the, the, the aperture size. Now, the reason we calculate that is because then we know what that, that lens can see to, what's the smallest thing, angle it can resolve. But if I move these objects closer together, or I take them much further away, these diffraction patterns will start to get closer together. Now, there is a limit to how close they can get before I actually um, can't tell them apart anymore. Now, when we then work out the brick at distance, we can see the angle it has. That, that's, it, that's the limit. Now, there is a limit to how close they can get before I actually um, can't tell them apart anymore. When the brick actually occupies a space smaller than that, that's where it's no longer resolvable. So I'm a bit confused as to why the intimation was that the two things weren't linked. Now, you have to have the Rayleigh criterion to work from for the rest of what you're describing. It, it was implied it had nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's Aussie Meisty. He's got a lot to say about you. So, Aussie, have you gone? Did you run yeah. away? Failed. Has he run away? Oh my god, he's run away. So, in conclusion, you're begging the question, proof of nothing, perspective hijacking earth curve calculator accounts for things with a feet and inches value and then asserts that earth curve gets in the way when you draw a straight line between target and observer and perform geometry. Now, that has absolutely zero account for things reaching and breaching a diffraction limit against the deck due to a limited angle. It asserts that Earth curve is the only reason things disappear in the distance. The only obstruction, according to their claims of Earth curve, is going to be caused by this getting in the way. It doesn't matter that in their representation of this globe, which is probably about three or four thousand miles distance between the man and the boat, that doesn't matter because they're going to call the boat 50 feet and the man six foot, and then everything else is irrelevant, right? doesn't matter that at 3,000 miles or however distance by scale this would represent, the boat would be miles too small to see. You don't do that in Earth Curve maths. And when we ask our opponent, who's apparently keen to correct me about how the Rayleigh criterion works, right? It's not in Earth Curve maths doing that work, though, now, is it? And when I point that out, he runs away. Yeah, thanks, cats. You got people from your own side telling me how the Rayleigh criterion works. Oh, happy, happy day. day. Happy day. Yeah, but maybe he'll be in the after after show.
Aussie Meisty claiming that you made up things like angle of attack and all that other nonsense. So, sorry, he came here and told me about how the Rayleigh criterion worked. All I did was ask him where it was in Earth Curve Maths. And the simple answer is, it isn't. But they're all telling me how this effect can make things disappear into the distance through a limited angle, diffraction limit. They're telling it to me. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Well, it doesn't really matter. Oh, go ahead, Brian. I know you're trying to get in this. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'll be, I'll be quick, Eloy. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, I wanted to come in and say uh, uh, basically what Adam said. I wanted to point out what an optician's wall chart was and why you, you, why you can't see the very small letters. It's because you're angled to the letters. It's not just, it's their angular size change. So it's like I wanted him to define what aperture was. You know, he, he came in thinking he was so smart and he was 100 million percent wrong. If something doesn't have to be far away from you, it just has to be small for you not to be able to decipher it from the surroundings. I was going to say, Brian, it could just be something really tiny in front of you. Yeah. Uh, it's... Like a hair. Like a hair at 100 metres. One hair held out by a person at 100 metres. Do you think you can resolve that? Well, that would depend okay. on the aperture size. Um... <laughs> Well, that would depend on the aperture size. You had a really big lens, and actually, yeah, because uh, within the formula, that would increase theta, which is the angle that you're saying you're able to do resolve. Their argument is that if you look at a building in the distance, right, and you're a given distance, whilst detailing something that is excluded from Earth Curve Maths, obviously they're going to correct us on this, right? When something gets too far away, you won't be able to see the windows of the building because the windows have reached and breached the diffraction limit. Therefore, you can't resolve them. It's about the quality of the picture. It's about the resolution of the picture, how much detail you've got in the picture. Not about stuff disappearing bottom up, Adam. And I say, all right, can we see the propeller of the boat? No. What's the angle to the propeller? Oh, we can't see it. Why not? Oh, because there's a deck in the way. The sea's in the way. I see. So the most limited angle, zero, is the deck then. Not the top of the flagpole. There's nothing excluding you from seeing a wider angle to that. The sea isn't the same as the sky. The sea is a limitation. That's why you can't see the prop. But they want to claim it's just a detail thing. It's how many bricks you can see. You can't make out one brick at a mile. But that doesn't mean you can't see the whole building. Yeah, but can you resolve the difference between the brick at the bottom and the ground it sat on? Nope. Uh, go. You've lost one brick to the ground because it's beyond the diffraction limit. Against the ground where the angle's the most limited. But they want to deny the against the ground where the angle's most limited bit because it's devastating. Cats in his video shows um, the Aries disc, which are those little um, squiggly lines that he draws, the too small and the, the big one in the middle. That's an Aries disc and... He does correctly demonstrate how there comes a point where these two things interact with each other, diffract with, they become no longer individually resolvable. Now, as you're talking about the deck, the effect that the deck has of compacting all extra information compared to the sky is why you're losing that at the bottom. It's that much more compacting, that blurring of all those individual discs that make it impossible to resolve now that effect is exemplified at the deck it's it's magnified more because you're packing in so much more um right you're getting like a a a rough blurred up average of all the bricks kind of reminding you of the brick also through its color but because the whole thing is blurred up the bottom part is just not visible the, the further you are it's just that's just the way it presents itself and that even works very close by with flat surfaces i'm sure i mean it was very very coherent for me so i'm assuming it's very coherent for the audience what just happened rc meisty tried to do something very very uh deceptive <laughs> none of this is accounted for in earth curve math as it is how we see through optics. <laughs> it's like, what, what are we seeing through our fingers? Like, what? I don't get it. Like, so then you tie that to, well, how it works out in relation to objects and reality. Perfect. I hope you clip this. I'm a fan. RC Moisty was just wrong. 
He was like he literally was just wrong. <laughs> not even, I don't even think he was trying to be sneaky because he was so arrogant. I think he just was just pure wrong. So, that would fit the description. Well, this is my very crude diagram, which I did, as I say, three years ago. And if the guy was on a surfboard, so the guy on the right was on a surfboard, the fins of the surfboard would be below the sea level. Level. <laughs> sea level. Anyway, moving on. So those fins would be below the water. So the limit of your angle to the fins would be infinite you've got no angle to it it's zero you can't have an angle to something that's below the deck so the starting angle zero is the deck now i've put in little lines coming off what the guy can see of the guy's legs feet whatever his torso and then the infinite angle if you want to call it that off to the sky there's nothing limiting his deck uh above him there's no ceiling now, the same could be applied if there was a long, very long hallway and a, a line above this. That would also be a limitation to the angle, causing a diffraction limit on the ceiling for whatever ceiling lamp up here. So what you can see is that the limitation to the angle is the deck and the most limited angle is at the bottom. So if I expand this picture and make it further away, i.e. the guy on the left further from the guy on the right, that limitation becomes more and more acute smaller the angle gets less as it gets further away meaning that you lose more and more and more from the bottom up now at this point i am going to point out that this single description of an effect of perspective is not the be all and end all of bottom up obstruction in any way shape or form there are a myriad of other effects that can cause things to disappear from bottom up there's a massive list of stuff that you can describe and demonstrate bottom up obstruction with this is merely one of those things now the reason i say that is because in earth curve maths you've got one assertion earth curve now this perspective effect is something that you can induce yourself if you give yourself a limited enough angle over a flat surface and push something low and flat like a coin on a table away from you the angle gets more acute and eventually it'll disappear it's just that simple we've got a whole playlist of stuff identical to that description which would be a limitation of angle being induced by camera phones being reduced to the ground looking at something in the distance disappearing from bottom up i called it angle of attack three years ago and this is the orthographic muppet view vision representation of that description of a limited angle close to the deck now when marcy meisty says that's got nothing to do with obstruction at the bottom yeah it has the diffraction limit's going to occur at the most limited angle and that's at the deck it's that simple hashtag Shit shrinks.